All right, guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add custom maps to the Steam version of Half-Life. So if you're wanting to do that, um, I'm at this awesome website called GameBanana.com slash maps, and I found a map called DM Lego Bricks. Looks pretty exciting. A bunch of bricks in a city. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this map. So that's the first step. So go down here, manual download. Uh, download. So this is a .rar file, which require it requires a program called WinRAR. If you don't have that, just go to Google and type in W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. Download the free version so you can extract this file. So save the file. That's going to go into my downloads. So put DM Lego Bricks RAR file onto your desktop. Right click it. Go to extract to DM Lego bricks so it makes it all in a folder. Okay, open that folder. So here's the map, we open it. And it has a folder called uh, Valve in it, open that. So this is what we're looking for. It has three things, GFX, maps, and DM Lego bricks .wad. So what we want to do is find the location of Half-Life within Steam. So I install all my Steam games to a separate hard drive. So yeah, find your Steam folder wherever it's located on your computer where all your games are stored. So then you want to go in there and you want to open a folder called Steam Apps. Um, and then open the folder called Common. This is all the games. We're going to go down to Half-Life here. Open it. And you will see within here that Valve folder. We're going to open Valve. So this is where we need to be. This is where all your maps are. Um, so open the map, DM Lego Bricks, or whatever map you downloaded. Okay, so first of all, we want to move all the files within the GFX folder into the folder over here that says GFX. If you open this, you'll see that it has an environment folder, shell, and VGUI folder. When we open GFX over here on the custom map, there is also an environment folder. You do not want to drag that over and copy over the environment folder. What you want to do is open the folder here and the folder here and you want to copy all those into the environment folder. Okay, so go back. We put all those um, into the environment folder. So go back. Now we want to open maps over here. Open maps over here. And just copy this and paste it in here. I'm replacing the files because I already did this, by the way. Um, if it ever asks you to replace files, I think it's okay. I just think it means that other maps are using the same files because um, I ran into that too. So go back, go back, and then we have the DM Lego Bricks wad right here. We're just going to copy that into the root of the valve folder because that's where it is. It's not in any specific folder. Okay, so we've copied all the GFX files into their right location. We've copied all the map files to the right location. And we've copied the WAD file to the root of the valve folder. Okay, and now let's go try out the map. All right, so next we're gonna go into Half-Life. We're gonna create a server and on map, you should now see your map name, which mine was DM Lego Bricks. Here it is. Let's start the map. Yay, Legos. Legos everywhere. And there you go. That's how you put a custom map into the Steam version of Half-Life. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and me running around in a big world of Legos. So... Please give it a like, subscribe, um, yeah, have fun, enjoy the custom maps of Half-Life, there's some good ones. Uh, check out Club Mental if you don't know that map, there's a link of it in the description, it's one of my favorite maps. So yeah, thanks again guys, appreciate you watching, thank you, um, that's it for this tutorial.